Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Lisa, and I'm here to share a repost from Yahweh's Daughter. The title is, Do You Not Know That the Battle is for the Soul of Man? And this was originally posted July 28, 2023. Yah gave me this while in the car today. Note, my beloved Jesus gives me a lot of revelations on the entertainment industry. Secular music equals chaos. Magic allows spirits to come into you. The songs you listen to, the concerts you go to, are a bunch of energy-harvesting rituals filled with curses and spells, calling in demonic spirits of lust, homosexuality, pedophilia, rape, violence, arrogance, disobedience to the parents, to name a few, also fattening the egregore, which you people give energy and power to. Note, here I am led to add what the Holy Spirit revealed to me about egregores a while ago. The egregores are watchers, fallen ones, intelligences, that need energy in order to manifest. He gave me further revelation on predictive programming and how it's connected to putting ideas into the minds of people while harvesting their energy to give power to the intelligence, egregore to manifest from the collective sea of consciousness, the masses who watch and fuel further those movies, music, videos, TV shows, by talking about them, calling them their favorites, constantly thinking about them, etc. There is a reason for a show to have many seasons and to keep going because it needs a certain amount of energy, fuel. There is a reason the symbolism they use is different, yet the same, depending on the context and it literally calls in the fallen ones and gives them power, just like their focus currently is mainly Lilith, female part of Baphomet. Sigils hidden all over the place. Music albums are filled with sigils and demonic symbols, and yet those sit on the shelves in the houses of people, opening widely the door to the devil, signaling him, this home is available. You are welcome here. Do you not know that the battle is for the soul of man? Your souls are precious treasure, and the devil wants them. Do not give them to him, but surrender your souls, and your all to the one who made the soul, the creator of all, the great I am. The secret societies the world organizations who are in cahoots and work together with the devil are given the task to gather up energy to enrich the dark, wicked kingdom. This is done via the craft of entertainment, fashion, world organizations, via ads. Ads frustrate, irritate, and anger people, which on its own gathers lots of energy for the dark kingdom. The media, the news themselves, stir up the pot and create a whirlwind, a portal, by inserting thoughts into the minds of the masses, hypnotizing them and harvesting their energy. Huge instrument of the enemy is the media for a reason. Through the media, the intelligence, fallen beings, egregore is being shoved stealthily into their minds and they begin to focus on it giving their energy to it giving it fuel helping it grow it spreads more and more over time thus it gains power from the sea of collective minds just like it was during covid new pandemic they are preparing deadlier COVID will seem like a walk in the park compared to it. Be prepared by being in the holy written word of the Lord Jesus Christ, the word made flesh. Praying, repenting, focusing only on him, 
relying on him and nobody else but him. In the coming days, what will sustain you will be your faith. This is the value which you put into your heavenly bank. Faith is the gold of heaven. Store up oil. Store up oil in your lamps. Turbulence, says the Lord. The world and the sky will shake violently. This is just the beginning. Though a thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, no harm will come near you. You will only see it with your eyes and witness the punishment of the wicked because you have made the Lord your dwelling. My refuge, the Most High, no evil will befall you. No plague will approach your tent. Psalm 91, verses 7 through 10. Read Psalm 91, says the Lord, and learn it. Learn some Psalms, especially Psalm 91, 23, and others which Yah will lead you to, so they can be used as a comfort when the Bibles are outlawed and banned. Show yourself approved by studying His holy written word. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. 2 Timothy 2.15 Ask the Holy Spirit to reveal the mysteries from it to you, the golden nuggets, the gems to give you further understanding into this rich gold, precious stones of all types, filled mine, the Bible, or filled in the Bible. The richest man is the one who has, understands, and lives accordingly to the word of the living God. Message continues. Calling in demonic spirits in, in you which you allow to enter through your ear gates straight into your mind, where they set a camp and begin to influence your thoughts, actions, behavior, and whole character. If you don't repent, you will end up doing the things you have been groomed with in those music videos and movies you watch, and in the end you will end up in the lake of fire, a place of forever separation from your creator, the I Am. I don't wish anyone to perish, but all to come to repentance and into my loving embrace. There is a reason people pick up the personalities of characters by watching shows and movies, not knowing that those are spirits entering into them and caging, binding them. With every lyric you sing, a new link of chain is formed all over your body from head to toe. Yah showed me people being held in dark places, chained, being unable to move, all because of the music they listen to. By listening to those cursed things, you participate in their rituals. The words you speak chain you. There is energy in words. You either speak life or death. Your words either condemn you or justify you. There is no in-between. Said word, thrown stone. They are like arrows. Once the arrow is sent flying, it will reach its target in the spirit realm. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it and indulge it will eat its fruit and bear the consequences of their words. Proverbs 18, verse 21. May Yah bless and keep you and your whole household, and may the glorious, bright, and warm light of the Lord Jesus Christ continue shining upon you all your days and for eternity. And that is the end of this message. I pray you all have a beautiful day in the Lord. God bless each and every one of you, and I will see you either next video or in the air. Bye-bye.